Five, interview, uh, interview, take five. Four, <laughs> three, two. Okay, interview, take one. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Jutta Fredholm Ferreira, and I'm a wildlife photographer, and I'm based in Cape Town. Uh, we were informed a couple of days ago uh, from our government that we were going to be in lockdown for 21 days. Now, that put a spanner in the wheel uh, when it came to my journey into the bush and um, subsequently we are now going to camp in my garden. Was well, sound recording? <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Wildlife Photographer in Lockdown. Next. I'd invited a good friend uh, that just returned back from the UK to join me on my bush expedition and uh, the plan was to go to Kalahari which is a very very beautiful area in the northern South Africa bordering Botswana one third uh, in South Africa and the other two thirds in Botswana um, the area is known for big cats amongst other things and yeah we were gonna set up camp there and just hang there for like three or four weeks which is not going to happen now so we're going to live camp life we are also going to talk about conservation issues we're going to talk about animals we're going to talk about nature uh, i'm going to chat a bit about tracking i'm going to talk about anti-poaching and uh, we're going to touch on the subject of uh, animal communication as well. Um, other than that, we're going to set up camp now before the sun goes down. And myself and Sue, my friend who is joining me in my camp, uh, we are going to sleep in the camp tonight. Oh, oh God! Have you got a small okay. tent? No. I had in mind, you know, Dome tents. This is a little dome tent that we pop up and. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let our toenails done. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then the full tent goes there because it's like a long side like this. And then we'll have a little front section that way here so we right. put these together, put these together. Are they're gonna go over there what are we doing right now we're setting up our tent in the wilds of Milnerton and the Cape we're gonna spend the duration in the bush enjoying our lockdown surrounded by wild chickens <laughs> Flora and fauna of Africa. <laughs> Very often people from other places far away, they land in Cape Town fully geared with their safari stuff on um, imagining that we're having lions and cheetahs and elephants walking our streets. Well, I can tell you what, we don't.
the reason why I do what I do is because I really, really love animals deeply and I also feel that uh, animals and nature in balance represents the health of our planet and um, when I go to the bush I connect on a different level to nature and I look into the souls of these most magnificent creatures that I meet along the way and um, I would like to take the opportunity during this time that we're going to share together um, to introduce you to that world and hopefully impart some of my passion that I feel to you. And um, I want to have fun and I want us to enjoy this together and I hope that at the end of this whole series um, you have got a different understanding to the Africa that I live in.